Welcome to Kids Fishing. And this is the, effectively the Takapuna Reef that comes out off uh, the end of the beach. And the great thing about this particular reef is that it's got a, a significant number of rock pools. So they can see the little fish swimming around, they can see the crabs and the seaweed. And I remember as a child, when I first was introduced to rock pools, it was amazing to see all these different animals in there. Now there is a really big starfish down in here. Look at that one, that is a big starfish. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Right, Dad? you want to take a photo of it? Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm trying to get close. That's a good sized starfish that one isn't it? Now this is a great little rock pool it's quite close to the tidal area here and it's deep enough to have a combination of different types of weed and probably little shrimps I would be guessing maybe some little uh, little rock cod and other things and although it today is quite... There might be starfishes in here! And there might be starfish in there as well what uh, ideally you need to do is actually sit there and just wait and see what comes uh, swimming out because often when you walk up to a rock pool you actually scare the shrimps and little fish uh, into the shelter of the weed and if you sit there and wait often you see them swimming back out again and, and wandering around. Look at that. It's like a little cave. It's a cave in the rock pools. We'll a bit closer. So this whole area is volcanic and uh, what you can see over there in the background is Mount, uh, or that's Rangitoto Island and that's a extinct volcano. But all this uh, rock area here is actually volcanic lava that's been tossed out by Rangitoto and uh, there's uh, Lake Papuki was another volcano as well there's a, there's a number of extinct volcanoes around here so this whole area is a effectively a volcanic geological field and that's why a lot of the uh, rock formations here are uh, quite interesting with little caves and all sorts of things and you can see I guess effectively some of this would have been lava bombs at some point in time. And here we are right at the edge of the tide. So we're literally at the very bottom of the, the reef and we're right where the tidal area, low tide area hits the reef. So any of these pools that we're seeing actually have Pretty much continuous water colour. We can see little starfish and there's a range of different uh, seaweeds and sponges and this is a great location for children to actually see what lives in the sea. So there we have a little snail and we can see, oh there it goes, it's moving off, so we've scared it and it's now starting to slide down. Dad, Dad, look at Dad, look at Dad. Yeah. Within each rock pool there's a little ecosphere of crabs and shrimps and little fish. It's a fantastic way for kids to see animals almost in their natural marine habitat. What did you really like about coming to see the rock pools today? I liked about um, seeing the starfish. And what was good about the starfish? Because um, there was, um, bec because they looked so cute. That's great. And did you, so you had fun today? Yes. Excellent. Okay, will you come back again to the rock pools? Yes.
Thanks for watching another episode of Kids Fishing. Please subscribe to the Kids Fishing channel for more great fishing tips and kids fishing adventures. And leave your comments below, we'd love to hear about your kids fishing adventures.